Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Raj Shekhar, the student of Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering from Computer Science and Engineering, Engineering Cyber Security Branch. And today I am here to explain about the subject Waste Management. The topic is Classification of Solid Wastes and the Source and Type Based. Let's discussing about the introduction. Solid Waste refers to the process by which various types of waste materials are generated and enter the waste stream. It involves the production and accumulation of discarded items and substances that are no longer wanted or needed. The introduction of solid waste occurs, occurs across residential, commercial and industrial and institutional sectors and it has significant implications for waste management and environmental substances. The first topic is waste management. Waste management is refers to the, the various schemes to manage and dispose of waste. It can be by discarding, destroying and processing, recycling, reusing or controlling waste. The prime objectives of waste management is to reduce the amount of un unusable materials and to avoid potential health and environment hazards. Waste management is refers to the collection, transportation, processing and recycling and disposal of waste materials. It involves a set of practices and strategies aimed at and at minimizing the adverse environmental and health impacts of waste while like maximizing source recovery and sustainability. Let's explain about the classification of waste. The classification of waste basis of source and type the solid waste, hazardous waste and industrial non-hazardous waste, agriculture and animal waste, medical waste, radioactive waste and construction and demolition, debris extraction of and mining waste etc. First we go on to the solid waste. Solid waste management is a team that is used to refer to the process of collection and treating solid waste. It also offers solutions for recycling it items that do not belong to the garbage or trash. As long as people have been living in settlements and residential areas, garbage or solid waste has been an issue. Solid waste refers to any, any discarded materials or substance that are not in a liquid or gaseous state. It encompasses a wide range of items including household trash and commercial waste, industrial waste, construction and demolition debris and agriculture waste. The sources of solid waste. There are two sources of solid waste. First one is municipal waste and non municipal waste. Municipal waste. Municipal waste is handling is usually a community level enterprise that includes the collection, separation, and reuse, storage, and transport, recycling, and end of life processes such as disposal in landfills and application and energy generation using the caloric content of the waste. Municipal waste is also known as household waste or trash refers to the waste generated by residential, commercial, industrial, institutional sources within the municipality or urban area. It includes a wide range of materials such as paper, cardboard, plastic and glass metal, food waste, art waste and other miscellaneous items discarded by individuals and businesses. Let us go to the types of municipal solid waste. Municipal solid waste can be broadly categorized into several types based on the characteristics of the waste generated. The first type is organic waste. Organic waste is also known as biodegradable waste includes any organic matter, matter in waste which can be broken down into carbon dioxide, water, methane, compost and human humus and in simple organic molecules by microorganisms and other living things by composting aerobic digestion and aerobic digestion are similar processes. Organic waste this includes food waste, added waste and clippings, leaves, branches and other biodegradable materials. Organic waste can decompose and produce methane gas in landfills. Just type to plastics and plastic waste is uh, comprises various types of plastic materials such as bottles, bags, packaging material, disposable utensils and product containers. The second type hazardous waste. Hazardous waste com composes substances that are flammable, corrosive, toxic or re reactive. Examples include batteries, 
fluorescence bulbs and paints, solvents, pesticides and electronic waste. E -waste. Medical waste is medical waste is compromises waste generated from health care facilities to including shops, needle strings and pathological waste, paramedical and waste and other biohazardous materials. As goes to explain about non-municipal waste, solid waste. Non-municipal waste refers to refers to waste that is not typically generated from residential commercial or institutional sources within a municipality or urban area. It includes various types of waste that may originate from industrial, agricultural or other non-residential activities. Next, next table good goes to types of non-municipal solid waste. Here are some common types of non-municipal solid waste. The first one is industrial waste. Industrial waste includes various types Various waste materials are generated from manufacturing processes, industrial facilities and industrial operations. And second one is agriculture waste. Agriculture waste refers to the waste materials produced from farming, livestock rearing, forestry and other agriculture practices. Construction and demolition waste. Sea and construction demolition waste consists of waste materials generated during construction, renovation and demolition activities. This type of waste is typically associated with non-residential buildings and infrastructure projects and large-scale construction operations. And fourth type is electronic waste, e-waste. E-waste is the comprises discarded electronic devices and electrical equipment such as computers, laptops, mobile phones like televisions, printers and appliances. It is also generated from the both residential and non-residential sources. And the next, the impacts of improper solid waste management. The, the poor waste management is ranging from non-existing collection systems to inefficient disposal, causes air pollution, waste, water and the soil contamination. Open and unsanitary landfills contribute to contamination of drinking water and can cause infection and transmit diseases. Improper solid waste management can have several negative impacts and, and the environmental, public health and over well-being. And the implications of such practices include air and water pollution, land degradation, climate change and methane and hazardous leachate emissions. In addition, these impacts impose significant environment and public health costs on residents with uh, marginalized social groups affected mostly. The conclusion is proper solid waste management is crucial for environmental sustainability and public health. Public health and it's essential to implement effective waste management strategies and including reduce, reuse and re recycle. But reducing waste at the sources, we can minimize its impact on the environment and promote a healthier planet. And this was today's video assignment. Please like the video and share the video. Also subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. Thank you guys.